Hello everyone, my name is Shushrut and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. In this video, I am going to talk about the major news uh, that were affecting the financial market on Wednesday. So before I start, please, uh, like always, go through the risk article as investing in financial market has got inherent risk attached to it. So please be careful before uh, investing uh, your money in the financial market. So it has been quite of a day uh, in in the Wall Street, uh, though the Wall Street opened uh, quite sluggish uh, as the Democratic lawmakers uh, were 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 moving to launch an impeachment inquiry into Trump, which were adding to the uh, already the market were, were was rattled with the. US China trade tussle and worries over the slowing global economic growth as we saw on Monday on Tuesday and Tuesday uh, both from Germany and and uh, US the data which came out bad uh, but Trump comments which which were like a sharp contrast uh, to his rhetoric on on Tuesday on the trade dispute between uh, US and China really uh, made the global stock market uh, have uh, had renewed signs uh, of of the easing trade tension diverted attention and uh, the stock market rose uh, the S&P 500 halted their three day slide with tech and bank shares pacing the gain equities rattled by the political turmoil in america turned higher after a president suggested a trade deal with china was possible and moved toward a pact with japan uh, the advance co- uh, recouped about a quarter of the Tuesday sell-off sparked by the start of formal impeachment inquiry on of, of Trump. So if you were uh, there on the desk on Tuesday uh, evening in the account, so it's like midday in the US uh, time and evening, uh, like seven, eight, between seven and eight uh, in the European time, uh, we did see quite a lot of uh, uh, of of uh, price drop in in the equity prices, and we saw this uh, price surge, and how volatile the gold market was uh, in between that time. Uh, so Wednesday in the morning it opened like that, but later when Trump came up with these comments, it actually changed the direction. I'll just put the chart for a minute just to show you uh, the contrast. Uh, so. Bear with me, please. So this is S and P. So here the drop was uh, the drop that we saw here yesterday. So I'll just put on the hourly chart. So so yesterday the drop in the price that we saw on the S and P. Uh, which were mainly caused because of the lawmakers were in the democratic lawmakers uh, were moving in to launch an impeachment inquiry into Trump and also uh, it was helped by uh, the data that were coming out from uh, US and Germany so we saw that fall uh, but as soon as Trump came up with this uh, statement that the trade uh, deal could be done uh, sooner uh, uh, than the market things so this is how uh, it, it just went up and similarly we saw this thing like yesterday if you see cold was like high up uh, there and it was uh, it, it, it even broke that this 26 27 15 26 27, 27 area where it was was very uh, were unable to break but uh, then it had a good run and then you see the volatility in the market for the next uh, hours if i put even a hourly chart it will show you more clearly so you see this price moves uh, like big swings in gold like 10 12 8 to 10 dollars a swing and then today when he came up as soon as he came up as you can see the s p 500 kind of uh paired his losses almost uh a quarter or almost half now at the moment 
of its losses and the gold again uh, was down quite a bit and uh, and it's 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 the, it made the low at the 1500 tested the psychological 1500 after the news and now it's kind of uh, weak at the moment uh, but uh, yeah this is how one man's comment or a statement changed the whole uh, outlook in just a matter of uh, 24 hours other major news was from uh, UK as you know Boris Johnson has uh, his decision to pro prolong the parliament has been uh, cancelled by the highest court in UK by the Supreme Court uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson facing the biggest political crisis of his career uh, will be uh, will address the parliament on Wednesday for the first time since Britain uh, Supreme Court ruled his decision to suspend his legislation legislature was illegal uh, he faces calls from MPs to apolo apologize and fire his advisor or stand down Johnson a Johnson was expected to try and call general election shortly uh, attorney general Geoffrey Cox told the MPs after they returned to work uh, but Labour leader uh, Corbyn said he won't seek to bring down the government uh, yet because first he wants uh, the risk of crashing out from the EU without an agreement uh, has to be removed then only he can support for a general election because otherwise uh, it won't uh, uh, be for his gain uh, to be honest if he does it now a general election most probably Johnson's gone uh, gonna score again and uh, maybe uh, the Tories will win, win win the election if a general election has to happen before uh, uh, before uh, the uh, Brexit is finally done so yeah so this so we did see kind of pound weakness uh, because actually it's so once uh, so this this is kind of making it more uh, uncertain so we saw this pound rise to uh, 125.80 level after uh, there were uh, you know kind of news and statements from the uk political uh, scenario that th they could ask for extension uh, for uh, for uh, for the brexit yet again but once uh, today after the parliament uh, uh, resumed um, it's kind it's kind of now they don't want to ask for any uh, ex uh, extension from from the european union uh, after 31st october so the market is pretty much uh, looking it as a pound negative since it adds more uncertainty uh, with with the uk economy then and and also how the deal is going to be done turning out and it's just uh, a matter of a month or month and some days left uh, before uk finally goes out of the eu so another uh, major news that was there was the oil uh, the oil prices fell uh, as we saw build up on uh, us crude, uh, crude stock and also the trump china uh, china trade comments also did have an impact uh, on on the prices oil prices uh, fell for the second day on wednesday as uh, us crude inventories uh, rose unexpectedly and on worries that demand could fall after trump uh, doused optimism about us china trade talks of uh, for further uh, pressuring the oil prices the us uh, crude inventories uh, rose to two spot four million barrels in a week uh, to uh, that which uh, to last uh, which was September 20th of September the energy information uh, information administration uh, said instead of a declining of uh, 249,000 barrels as uh, it was expected by the analysts so let just put the crude chart so it's kind of not closing the gaps uh, that we saw it's also the fact uh, that the Saudis also came up with the statement that they are uh, uh, they're expecting 
the full output that was uh, that they were producing before uh, they had an attack on September on September 14th, uh, and also this build-up of U.S. oil, uh, sorry, the U.S. crude stock uh, also made quite an impact. Uh, so net net we are in the same position uh, what we were 10 days before uh, 10 12 days before uh, when the market uh, closed on the 12th of uh, September so just yeah so so on the 13th uh, how it closed and on uh, before uh on, on 15th when it opened uh, we saw this gap here and now we are back again at the same where everywhere actually if you see oil is back at the same place so is gold so i'll just put you that cha zoom out a bit if I can show you so so it's kind of the same uh, place where the oil was uh, or gold was also there uh, before uh, uh, the news of the Saudi attack when we saw the jump in oil prices and uh, the jump in uh, crude prices so net net is back in the same place and it will be very interesting to see uh, f he from here how the oil uh, moves as the tension between uh, Iran and US is still not uh, yet gone off the table uh, but I won't think Trump would be really looking to meddle uh, with with oil prices and uh, at the moment as I always say uh, next year is the US election so he wouldn't really want a uh, higher oil price as it will hurt the u.s consumer and uh, it will affect his his, his, his voting um, uh, for the next election so he's been very playing very calculative and uh, i don't know if he's a good leader but of course uh, he's a great uh, politician uh, in this in in this point of view so let's see how the market will be reacting in the next uh, uh, couple of days uh, that is that that is it for from the major news of today uh, hope to see you tomorrow all the best uh, for the trading day ahead and the rest of the week thank you very much bye bye